Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to this month's storage solution organization kind of idea. This is going to be a really quick one. Just so happens that I was trying to, I got my pictures printed and then I am getting ready to kind of organize them in my little photo organizer. And so I thought that I would film it just to show you. So first things first is that if you remember my video, I don't even know when I um, posted it, maybe in March or maybe in February about how I, um, prep my pictures for printing well i pulled out all of those pictures because you know i was already showing you how i did uh, how i prep it so i finished prepping all of those those are all my 2018 pictures that i have in scrapbook and i printed them off along with a little bit of 2019 so it's right here this is actually kind of the way I organize it. I organize it by event. So I just kind of flip flop it. So if one event is going horizontal, the other events going vertical, just so I can um, further split them up. And then, so I have 2018 and this is 2019. I have some, oh no, sorry. I have 2020 actually over here and then some 2019. And that's why I wanted to do this video because I needed some more inserts. Now, um, before I go to the inserts, let me talk about this container. I just got this at Joann's. This is what they call the Photos and Craft Case Keeper by Iris Container. It actually, so this is supposed to be for cards where you can um, store your finished cards. It actually comes with inserts like these. these these are just plastic containers. I know that Michaels has them like different colors and stuff. I like plain clear ones or white ones. I don't even know what they call them, but I just like these plain ones. I don't like the extra color. Um, but anyways, I pulled these ones out. It came with, I believe it came with like six, five or six of these in there and the premise is that you can further organize your cards into these small containers and put them in the big container but really i just need the big container and then so i use these small ones so as you can see store some die cuts that are too big for um anything else or like embellishments and i've also used these containers to uh travel or to um take my scrapbook supplies on the go so like i would put um like uh colored pencils in here stamps inks whatever i want to take along with me for when i'm traveling and i still want to craft i bring this so this has been really helpful to me now going back to the big container again um i just have this in i the size is eight and a, eight and one sixth inch by eight and five eighths by six and a half so it's plenty big for pictures whether it's five by seven or four by six or three by fours now of course if it's bigger like eight by ten of course i put them in a different one but i nowadays rarely 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 uh, print eight by tens maybe i will print eight by tens to put in a frame but not in a scrapbook uh, page so mostly like i said in the vid video about my process for prepping pictures i just print them all four by six um that could be a configuration of two three by fours one four by six or even sometimes four two by threes okay so let's get on with the organization so here's basically the the like the really like quick way that i organize this um i have a piece of cardstock in between as my inserts and then i have this very old mcgill um tab punch and honestly <laughs> i only use this for this container like i don't even use this for my scrapbooking anymore i should um but i don't anymore and maybe i should change that here pretty soon but anyway so this is what i use to do my punch and as you can see it's very um ghetto it's not nothing fancy i just cut a five by seven card or pattern paper i should say and then punch out my um, my dates. So let's do that here. I'm going to move that aside and I pulled out some some scraps of paper that are big enough that I could actually do the 5 by 7 So um, I'm going to start off with this and I'm just going to cut this into 7 and then 5. And the reason why I do this was it's just the right size for my container. So I have this and I actually have a pattern paper, I mean, sorry, a cardstock here as well. And, um, and if you guys are maybe a little bit more anal than me, then you would want all your pattern papers to maybe um, match or even your tabs would look right. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. There we go. 
I have to push on it. You can tell that it hasn't been used for a long time. So anyways, I'll just put glue on here and then I will put that on the top and then I would put 2020 on here and then slip it onto this part right here. And I plan on making more so that I'll be prepared for the next few years. And as you can see, I started off with purple and then it became blue and then green. Again, I was just doing this uh, as I went. So of course, when I started it back in 20, 2008, I didn't know how many years I wanted to cover or would fill in this container. Now, this is where I pull from to full, bleh, pull photos for when I want to scrapbook. So that means that as I go along with scrapbooking, the previous three years will thin down because that's where I'm pulling pictures. So as you can see, my 2018 is pretty bulky right now, but as I finish scrapbooking all this, it will thin down so I can move it forward a little bit and then continue on with the rest of the years. So that is my storage solution for photos. Um, I put them in here. W one reason as well that I put it in this container because I like that it has a cover or as it has a lid. And so it, um, protects my photos from dust because we all know that our uh, scrapbook rooms or our areas, wherever it is, it could get dusty. It, some areas doesn't get as much dust as others, but it still can get dusty. And so I like that it's protected in this container. So that is my storage solution for photos and my storage organization video for this month. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave it in the comment section below. If you like these videos, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And also check out my playlist for organization or storage solutions because I have been doing this once a month since the beginning of the year. And so you might get a few more ideas from the other videos that I have made. And I will catch you guys another day. Bye. Mm -hmm.